Uh, my name is Tony Richardson and I work for Arc'teryx. My name is Kevin and I work for Arc'teryx Equipment. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much the harness guy right now. I've been working on harnesses for the last couple years. I've been working with the color team for just short of seven years now. Before we had all these very niche harnesses, but uh, I only have one harness, so I just wanted to make one harness that would do everything. Hard Goods as a, as a whole collection was one of the first ones that I was kind of given jurisdiction over. Some people want adjustable or non-adjustable leg loops, so that was obviously one difference that we had to have in their line. And then the sport climbing harness and just trying to strip it down and lighten it up. So we ended up with essentially three different harnesses, two in a men's and a women's variation. Uh, we do often work with the designer of each particular product and try to get their vision and, and, and see if we can incorporate that into our work. So this would be my ultimate harness has four gear loops, four ice clipper spots, sub uh, tag, extra gear loop, and non-adjustable leg loops. And that pretty much has served me from climbing in Bishop to big walling in Baffin Island. So the one harness to rule them all in my books. There, you know, there's a lot of really hardcore climbers in this building. And so we figured why not actually get some feedback from the people who are actually wearing them. I think the real beauty of this harness is that it's as light as any fully featured harness can get but it's also extremely packable like i do a lot of alpine climbing so for me having something that can just like squish down and go in my bag and yet when i pull it out and use it is as good as any big wall harness we obviously have a lot of experience working with colors and different materials this harness right here belonged to my buddy will stanhope and he was using it in the Bugaboos all summer and big wall free climbing and taking huge whippers and just hanging it day in and day out for probably at least 100 days, if not more on this harness. I would say some of the more abusive type of harness work you can do. And um, to me, that's like still a perfectly serviceable harness. And that was kind of my golden you know, standard was if Will could take it and abuse it all summer, then I would be happy. With the particular harness colors that we have out now, it was somewhat of a group decision. Some of the changes that I made to the Spring 15 harnesses was putting some of the build and materials and cost into places where it really made a difference. You don't really even see it, but there's actually some stitching inside of here now that keeps the whole thing together. The different colored gear loops and the webbing was a way to try and bring them to life as opposed to having them really monochromatic. The other main thing that I wanted to address was this issue that I called roping, where because of the way we warp the fibers out and take a piece of webbing and spread it out, and you know, that's creating this really comfortable thing as long as all those fibers are staying in their place. But the way we were building them before, Eventually, after you hung in it, the fibers kind of wanted to turn back into a piece of webbing, so you'd end up with this like, like wrinkles all through here, where it's just like, no more roping. Like, that is not acceptable. Our harnesses used to fit quite small. I normally wear a small harness, and I had to wear a medium harness before. We called it anti-vanity sizing, so we just resized everything, so that now if you look on the website and you say, I normally wear small pants, I'm gonna order a small harness, the harness is gonna fit you pretty nice. When I think about it in retrospect, you know, they got the Poseidon blue, which is like very dark, cool blue with the lighter blue uh, as a contrast hits on it. Very much looks like a water type theme. And there's ladies sewing harnesses who have been there for 18 years. You know, they've sewn probably a million harnesses. So I sat down with them and pretty cool process actually and pretty unique. Like I don't think there's a lot of places where you get to just drive across the bridge and go to the factory and sit down with super skilled sewers like that. And then the green with the yellow almost looks like uh, like moss with lichen. The purple one almost looks like very flowery and so they kind of landed that way without us necessarily planning it that way but you know it could even be just that subconscious coming back. They're our best warp harnesses. I've taken all of the things that I could have learned from the first two versions and then 
tried to distill all of that and add stuff and make my own judgment calls on what's valuable and what's not valuable and you know as a climber and a user and I took these things out like I said in the field from Patagonia to Baffin and really put them to the test. I was really happy with how they turned out actually. Pretty confidently say these are our best harnesses.